Q1057, Albany's Rock Station. I'm Steve King, and have the opportunity to talk to Styx founding member, guitarist, and singer James Young, JY, as he's known to all of his friends. They have um, the release of their 14th album, uh, Cyclorama. Now, you may say, wait a minute, I've heard of Cyclorama. How do I know that? That's because it was originally released in 2003, but now it's coming out on all streaming platforms, and there's a new video that goes along with one of the songs, These Are the Times. So it's our pleasure today to talk to James Young. JY, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Uh, good, it's a pleasure to talk to you again, man. Uh, nice to talk to you. Um, we're all uh, trying to find ways to survive uh, mentally and physically. Isn't that the truth? How, how have you been? First, I guess, but mentally it seems like it's taken a, a, a higher, higher, higher priority because uh, sitting around... Not doing much hiding from the world is is not my nature, probably not yours either. No, not at all. So what? we're, uh, that's why, I, would, I don't know, I came up with the idea of, of digging into some of our old music and making, see if there's anything that might be relevant to now. And then we came across the song, These Are the Times, which uh, was kind of made in the wake of, uh, you know, the Twin Towers getting mm-hmm. knocked down by the the crazy airplane bombers and whatever. And that, that's when Tommy and I wrote it back in 2003. But, but all of a sudden, the lyrics just seem to resonate with today. Uh, and, and then to put the, a video together with our uh, videographer who just, you know, found some public domain footage of, of first responders. That's really an homage and a tribute to the people that put their, put their necks on the line for us every day in all different, you know, aspects, the police and, and ambulance guys and whatever, fire, fire departments. So... It's uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how music does that, though. You, you write it for one thing in one time, and then you can go back and listen to a song that maybe you wrote, you know, twenty five years ago, and you can still see how it still fits into certain contexts of the time. You you, you find that probably with other music as well. Absolutely, it's it's it's, it's crazy how some songs will just uh, hit me. Um I mean, there's one. There's a Rolling Stones song called "Give Me Shelter" that mm-hmm. Mary Clayton sings as high, you know, female answer to Mick Jagger. It's just a shot away. It's just a shot away. And something about that song just is, almost always brings me to tears. Hmm. And it was it was written right after the Stones saw the, uh, you know, someone knife to death in front of them at Altamont oh, way yeah. back when, and then. Um, and Mary Clayton's got her own story about how she got called in to actually sing that high part, but it's. Uh, We've actually wound up using her on a record. I just, you know, was so fond of her, and she's she's still alive out there doing what she does. Wow. Um, so yeah, music just it, it, it takes different shapes at different times, and uh, got to ride that wave. <laughs> I know Styx has always been a band that that loves to be out on the road. I know you kind of road warrior out there. What has it been like for you for the last six to eight months of no touring, no nothing? Well, they're keeping the razor blades away from me. <laughs> That's good. No, it, it's it's just uh, I don't know. There's there's a lot of good days here. Um, there's I'm catching up on things that I've been collected for 20 years. <laughs> and I live in a very old frame house that was built, uh, you know, in, in in back in the 1800s, wow. late 1800s, and it needs it needs the old girl needs a lot of help and a fresh coat of makeup, and uh, so I'm trying to find time to get in some of that. And uh, catch up on the, the real world that's so apart from the crazy, wonderful world that I've, I've chosen to live in and have <laughs> been blessed to be able to s- succeed to a degree. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, keeping in touch with as many people as I can. Just, uh, you know, I think hearing from someone you haven't heard from for a while or seeing somebody you haven't heard from in a while kind of really can buoy the spirit. So we're in this together, and let's not forget that. Yeah, absolutely. Have you guys talked as a band about, you know, plans for 2021? Is it still like, man, we don't know what's going to happen? What, what are you guys thinking as far as well, next year? Know, we have Zoom calls about every two to four weeks, and mm-hmm. uh, we are recording a, a new album to be released, but we want to wait until we can actually start touring again to actually sure. put it out there. And uh, I don't know, I'm... Now the most optimistic thing, I think, is the end of this year. Mm-hmm. And if, if Dr. Fauci is right, it's the end of next year. So that would put us out in you know 2022, um, which is the uh, that would be the 50th anniversary year of 
us signing our first recording contract, which wow. was February 22, uh, 1972. But if it's in 22 that this record comes out, it'll be 22222. So maybe that's what we got to wait for. <laughs> maybe that's the sign right there. That's the sign. <laughs> well, I, I hope you guys are on stage before that. That's all Me I too. know. <laughs> Me too. I'll, I'll bet. Um, what do you think? I know you're a big uh, you're a big football guy. You love sports, love football. What What do you think? Uh, what do you, What do you think about the NFL season this year? Well, it's. Uh, I'm glad. It looks like it's going. They're going to play it. Mm-hmm. I hope they're going to play it. Um, I don't know how they're going to avoid people coming down with this virus. And uh, I hope that the fear of the virus is, you know, I hope we're, we find ways to manage the virus better mm-hmm. because of, we have to build herd immunity some way, shape, or form. And these the, those linemen in the middle, you know, are, <laughs> that are beating the crap out of each other on every down, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a contact sport. Yeah, you're not going to keep That's six feet of distance. Sweat, you know, tra- being tra- it's going to be impossible unless they're wearing plastic. I don't know. Even then, you know, you're going to get the, something's going to come into your mouth or your nose or what have you, <laughs> and uh, even through your eyes, maybe. I, I hope they play it, um, but I'm not the ultimate authority on any of this, but I, I love the sport, and I think it's, it's great television. Mm-hmm. We need so the distraction. The <laughs> it, it's probably for the players not quite as exciting, but... You know, nonetheless, if you're, you know, if if you if you're getting paid a lot of money to get out there and do that, um, get out there and do that. Absolutely, it'll be a good distraction for us, I think. Yep. So, uh, Cyclorama, it is being released on all streaming platforms, download platforms uh, from uh, BMG, and then the video for "These Are the Times" um, from that album, the new video, it's going to be released here shortly on the uh, Sticks YouTube channel. I haven't been able to see it. Can you give me a little little feel of what we're going to see? Well, as I said, it's it's the, the lyrics are "These are the times we find out who we really are." Um, I want you to live is is kind of the end of the, of the chorus line, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's where we're basically we're showing a whole bunch of first responders doing their thing, and you know trying to get everybody that you might consider a first responder because there's a lot of people out there that don't necessarily have. <laughs> it's basically saying thank you to the people who put their health and well being on the line for us on a daily basis throughout my lifespan and particularly at this moment in time mm-hmm. well it's uh it's pretty fitting without question uh james it's a pleasure talking to you i wish you all the best i can't wait to see you guys back out on stage i hope it is next year and not you know a year from now yep <laughs> me too yep all right man well you have a great day and uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you 